Well, hopefully you can tell, even though I'm only recording with my iPhone, that we are a little bit up in the air. Uh, we're on a little peak. I don't know the name of it, even if it has a name. You can see the little road. Uh, pretty interesting road that we came up. We came up all the way from right down over there. That leads to uh, Highway 70, and Holland Air Force Base is right over there. And Olomogordo is right there. So, the good thing about uh, New Mexico, which uh, you'll see when we go over to this area, I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, one of the good things, and if you watch some of my videos when I'm in the wilderness, is that there is a lot of uh, free land, open land, uh, BLM, Bureau of Land Management, uh, land that you're allowed to go out and uh, pretty much do whatever you want, uh, as long as you're not, you know, destroying vegetation and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, you're allowed to come out, shoot, camp, uh, hunt, uh, whatever uh, environment and pests are on the actual list. I think right now uh, coyotes are always on the list here. So you can come out here and uh, even if some of it, like there's a rancher's house way over there, you can't see it, but even uh, the only land that's close is the land that's right next to him, but even all this other land that is still owned, you know, by, you see that uh, giant, uh, kind of looks like a little bit of a dry lake bed. That area is all open. You're not allowed to drive out there, but it's all open. Uh, and somebody probably does own all this land, but it's able to be used and they get a, uh, I don't know, I've heard different rumors. I'm not a landowner out here, so I don't know. But I've heard that they get, uh, you know, if you allow your land to be uh, utilized by the public, that you get a break on your uh, property taxes. But I'm not positive. So maybe if you're a landowner in New Mexico and you are watching this video, you can chime in and inform us. So we're going to go down here, do a little bit of uh, target shooting, which is purely legal too. So it's uh, amazing once we get down there. Uh, I'll show you the fence and go over a little bit of the uh, other rules that concern uh, target shooting on BLM land out here. Oh, and so this uh, area uh, up here has quite a bit of these uh, geographical survey stamps uh, on metal. Like you can see this one says that it's from uh, 1943. There's another one right over here. I don't remember what year it's from. But they, uh, it's pretty interesting to come out here and uh, see. What's this one say? Yeah, same thing, 1943. But there's one over there. Where was it? Let's see if we can find it right quick before we fill up the camera with memory. There was one over here that said uh, 42. Uh, or maybe even before that. So, yeah, this one. Let's see what this one says. Yeah, that one says... Uh, 43, but there's one out here somewhere. I don't remember um, exactly where it is. It just says uh, 42. It might be down there a little bit. I've walked uh, quite a bit of this area up here, just looking around and being, uh, I don't know, having a good time. So yeah, uh, I'll get down there and record a little bit more, do some target shooting, and tell you guys about the uh, fences down here. So that is a uh, the little road that I was talking about. So let me uh, just give you a sample or a little bit of an explanation of how uh, steep this road is and a little drop off right there, obviously. Uh, I'll get in front of the truck and hold the camera level and uh, let you see how uh, how interesting this road is. I, uh, I mean, the truck is uh, decent. I and mean, obviously you can see it's paved roughly paved trucks decent at going up stuff like this but it's still you know just very very interesting uh, so let me see here is the right there's the camera level so that's uh that's how we're sitting I don't know if you can really tell well obviously if you look at the truck and then you look at the horizon out there and you can see kind of how uh, interesting this road is I mean it's nothing crazy but uh for somebody in a little one wheel drive truck and somebody that doesn't like uh I'm not very fond of heights. I mean not I don't know who is, but uh it's very interesting. So nice road to come up. 
All right, so see that hill right there? That was where we were at a minute ago. And uh, I was telling you guys, you know, that I'll show you the fence. So here's the fence line. And uh, there's the, uh, well, there's my truck. There's the road I just came from. And then there's the, uh, the rancher's house right there. So fence line and then this wonderful, nice little sign. And look at that. It does not say no trespassing. It just says please close the gate. So all you do is you walk up to it and uh, take this chain, pull the chain up, okay? Let the chain go, push the gate open, and uh, there you go. Free to go onto this piece of land. But this is uh, obviously it's uh, the rancher's land. Pretty sure all this other land is too, but that's actually the fence to keep his uh, cattle and all that good stuff into. Uh, this is a new fence. I haven't seen this last time I came out here. It wasn't here. Uh, there was just only one like way over there on the other side of the uh, dry uh, lake bed or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, if you're interested in uh, target shooting and you live in New Mexico or whatever state you live in, uh, I think that you should Google it. Uh, for New Mexico, all you got to do is Google target shooting on open land or target shooting on, uh, well it depends on where you want to go. Uh, you can actually target shoot on some of the state property out here too. But just Google BLM New Mexico target shooting and it'll come up with a uh, little website and it got it uh, has some basic rules on there about, uh, you know, you're not supposed to shoot glass containers and not supposed to shoot uh, other things and you're supposed to take everything with you obviously, which that's what you should be doing anyway, you should be always packing in and packing out your own stuff not leaving any trash there so hope you uh watched all the video made it this far and uh yeah like i said we were all the way up there on top of that which it's, uh i don't know if it doesn't look like much from where we're at right now but it uh oh and then now the camera decides to finally try to focus yeah focus in over there yeah that's where we're at then we stopped uh did a little bit of shooting and, uh, so now we're gonna drive through here and then we're gonna once we get done, we are going to uh, close the gate.